But here's the question on the minds of police tonight. Was the bullet that killed a pregnant woman this morning actually meant for someone else? That's what police are trying to figure out right now. Steve Jefferson following this developing story. He's on the west side. And Steve, what are police telling you about their efforts to find the shooter in this case? Well, Anne-Marie and John, right now, police say after talking to people in the house where the shooting happened, this blue house you see behind me, they got conflicting stories, and that's making it difficult to track down the shooters or the shooter, something that they're trying to do even right now. These are photos of 18-year-old Brittany McNew, shared by her family and friends. They include pictures of her taking this selfie, one of her favorite things to do. While at this house Thursday on West Michigan Street, where her boyfriend's family lives, the teenager got hit by a bullet when someone fired shots into the house. Police found her with a severe gunshot wound to the hip. During the trip to the hospital, paramedics told dispatchers the 18-year-old went into cardiac arrest, arrived at the hospital in critical condition, and eventually passed away. Everybody in, in this block right here is peace and quiet. But over there at night, you hear the drama nonstop. I get up at 5.30 in the morning, and as I'm taking my daughter to the bus stop, you hear them again over there fighting and arguing. Police question people home at the time of the shooting only to get conflicting stories about what really happened. Sources tell Eyewitness News Brittany, who may not have been the intended target of the shooting, recently learned she was expecting a baby. Can't confirm that at this time. Our, our detectives have been told that same information by people inside the residence. So, um, yeah, we can definitely say that we've been told that as well. Crime lab workers spent hours inside the home digging out shell casings from inside the walls. Now, right now, police again need as much information as possible from the public. If you can help, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously. If your tip leads to an award, you'll get a cash reward of $1,000. Reporting live, Steve Jefferson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.